Hello again, Tony is here. Today I'm flying from Mason Lake, Washington to Seattle, Washington. I'll be flying at a flight level of 5,500 feet. I'm flying a Beechcraft King Air 350i. Let's go ahead and reset the view. Go inside and get started. Do not need the flaps, so we'll put those up. And let's check the barometer. It was slightly off. And let's get going. Very little bit of th rudder goes a long way, so I'm trying to be very careful to keep this plane going straight. We can go ahead and lift off. Landing gear up. Try to maintain about a 10 degree climb up. I think it's going to have its turn after I continue this climb, this time climb part of the pattern. Okay, we can go ahead and turn in the direction we need to go right now. I'd rather do this inside the airplane where it feels a little bit more natural. I'm not losing altitude. Alright, looks like we're almost going in the right direction. Might need to turn just a little bit more. Craft King Air 4 miles west of Grand County, 3,600 feet. Request flight following. Nice to have the co pilot take care of Squawk all the radio four traffic. Squawk 4103. Okay, so we're approximately going in the right direction. K4903 radar contact 5 miles west of Grand County, 4,000 feet. Altimeter 290 decimal 88. I'll let us get up to altitude and then kick it on a pirate tree. It's kind of a mixed weather day. It's mostly sunny, but a lot of cloud activity. Okay, we're about a thousand feet from our target altitude. Be surprised if there was some dry lightning. I don't know my meteorology, but it seems like the kind of thing you get this time of year. Okay, I'm going to level off because we are at altitude. We should begin to speed up now. I'll go ahead and engage autopilot. Turn on the yaw damper. Okay, the plane is now in control. I just need to watch my speed, make sure I don't hit anything or get grossly off course or anything. Let's go ahead and take a look outside. Looks very agricultural in this area of Washington. I'm not really familiar with the eastern half of Washington. I have been to Seattle and a bunch of places on the west half. Again, these crop circles we've been seeing the whole time on my learning to fly tour. 
It's funny how they carve out little sections with smaller irrigation equipment to make those tinier discs. So it looks like a satellite photo stitch right here with the change in brightness. Alright, we're going about as fast as we can safely go. I'm going to check these dials. See if I can push it a little higher. Oops, alright. Let's take a look at these. I want to push it up without it complaining about temperature over torque. If I push it up all the way, it will cause a problem. It'll start complaining. Looks like pedo heat needs to be on too. There we go. Also noticing these displays are a little on the dim side, so let's see if we can make these a little brighter. Maybe a bit more. I didn't mean to change that brightness. Okay, you have to be careful with the wheel because it zooms out or changes things. But let's see if I can do this. Okay, that looks good. And then the one that I changed before, I think... That's probably the sub panels down there. We wouldn't notice it in the daytime anyway. Okay, well, we're probably going about as fast as we can go without the engines complaining. I do see a mountain range coming up. I don't know if we need to be higher to get over it or not. I'm thinking maybe for safety I should just set a higher altitude. How about 10,000? Set a vertical speed of let's see, 800 feet per minute. That might be enough. All right, doing all that with the Logitech panel. It's kind of nice. Makes it a lot easier. Maybe sometime I should take video while I do that, patch it in. I didn't think they do that this time. I think we'll probably be okay, but I'd rather be safe. I don't know what altitude those mountains are. I think the nav log, when I was setting up the flight, had a flight level of 12,000, but it always seems to go much higher than you need. I love the waterways and the detail on the terrain. I've got my graphic settings at ultra and then I backed a few things down to high. I don't need ultra quality on trees and bushes, for example. I'm not sure what my frame rate is. I should turn that on. I don't want to do that right now and disturb the recording. But it looks nice. It looks at least 30 frames a second, which is good enough for me. I love these little cotton balls we're about to run into. This waterway over on the right looks really pretty. So the importance of the vertical speed is that if you had passengers, you don't want to just up angle at 15 degrees and climb, it's going to feel uncomfortable. So it's better to set a shallow climb angle, and so you can do that with precision. I don't know what the right figures are, but I feel like I've heard of six, seven, eight hundred being comfortable. Might get kind of low visibility here momentarily. Let me see what the Garmin says in terms of the terrain, because we'll be on in kind of IFR mode here in a moment. Yeah, I think we're okay. I can never tell exactly what this line 
means, except maybe that's if you, maybe that's the five degree down. I'm not going to hit a mountain peak. Okay, it does look like the extra altitude was needed, but we do have it, so we're good. I noticed the mountain peaks were visible below the clouds and looked pretty close by, as we can see right here. We're a couple thousand feet up, I think, but we're fine. It's kind of fun looking through the thick clouds like this. I have the volumetric clouds set to ultra quality. The clouds are actually evaporating, that's what they should do. And here we go into opacity. Wow, that was nice. So I think our altitude is still good. Let's get the look back. Oh, that's nice. The cloud head that we flew through. It's like we're kind of playing in a big field of cotton balls. And I think I can figure out from the Garmin when it's safe to begin descending. I don't expect the mountain range to go on for very long. Go inside and see what we see. I think that's one of the okay, one of the views. We'll go right to that. Here we go. Okay, so we have a ways to go, but it is declining in terms of the mountain peaks. So I'll figure out in a bit when to 
start descending. See what it looks like from here again. So interesting in that direction. And I don't think the peaks get any bigger from here, so I think we're okay. We could probably actually start descending. This is admittedly a scary view, but again, I think we're okay. But visibility is nothing. Um, get this a little bit better centered. Yeah, I just can't see anything at all. I'm just trusting that the Garmin will get us over this terrain, okay. Haven't heard a 500 warning or anything like that. Not seeing the ground radar kick in. Although maybe it only does that under conditions I'm not aware of. All right, saw a little bit of blue sky there for a second. to be much to see out here. Absolutely nothing. I suppose if I submitted the flight plan I far read it, they wouldn't let me take it because of this. I assume that's the case. There's some sky. I think we might be through this cloud head momentarily. It's really hard to say. If I go back inside, Garmin. We've still got the terrain below us. I think we're well above it. 
but it should be going on for a while. Alaska 16 contact Seattle Center on 132 decimal 6. I do feel like I need to be careful and not get too much altitude. I don't know how close I can get. Maybe if I look outside, look down, I can see something peeking through to get a sense for how high off the ground I am. The clouds are rather thick. to be able to hop into an airplane and go fly around into clouds like this. Just be a part of them. I kind of wonder what the temperature outside is. It's got to be pretty cold. Um, oh, there we go. 20. Wow. Yeah, it's quite cold. Don't know if I need de-icing or not. Maybe I should turn that on just in case. Again, just nothing to see, except the clouds. Some waypoint markers off in the distance, or port of interest markers. or water systems in some of those hills. I feel like we could probably drop in altitude. I'm going to try 9,000. And try minus 800 feet per minute. See where that gets us. We might get some visibility actually dropping out of the clouds. It's possible. I'm just going to judge by the Garmin how close we're getting to the terrain. I think we're okay. It's getting very bumpy. A bit like we're close to the mountains see the terrain updating in real time from the game engine. That was interesting. If I hear the 500 warning, I'll certainly grab the stick and start climbing. But I think we're okay. And then in a short while, I'll be able to drop a whole bunch more. I do, have a, I do wish I could tell how high off the ground I really was. Go outside for a minute, look for my Looks like we're getting Seattle a rain on the windshield. Tree, See it from the inside. Windshield wipers are really necessary at this point. Okay, let me go back to one of the other views. Let's see, what is the normal reset view? There it is, that's the one I like. Going to drop us down another 500 feet. How that goes. It's starting to get really windy and rainy. Can't 
see any of the terrain yet. We're actually pretty close to the airport, so I do need to burn off this altitude pretty quickly. So again, judging by this, I think very soon I should be able to start dropping. Maybe I'll go ahead and do that now. Altitude of 6,500. Let's see where that gets us. With a high speed descent rate. I'm going to pull the throttle back to halfway. ice forming on parts of the plane. Now I turned on the de-icing on my panel and then got a warning. And so inert SEP on. Alright, well, I don't know what that means. So I guess I'll turn it off again. Um, if it becomes a problem, I can fill it with some of the buttons on the dashboard. You can hear it raining on the plane. Okay, we're almost at our target altitude. After I pass this little mountain top here, I will drop some more. Pull back just a little bit more of the throttle just so we can drop some of this speed because we're going to approach the airport very fast momentarily. Again, nothing to see outside, just clouds. Point now, though, where I can drop to 5,000. There we go. Looks like the airport's at 1,400 feet. So the landing pattern should be at something like 3,000, 3,500 feet. We'll go ahead and contact them now, get the landing pattern set up. This is a workaround for problems introduced when they release the Xbox version. You have to actually go find the airport and contact them directly. There it is, KSEA, and we want... Seattle Tower KA49 well, tree is one niner miles east, 5,100 feet. Request the uh, runway that we want. KA49 tree, Seattle Tower. Altimeter 29 decimal niner 6.17 tree at 8. Enter left base runway 16 left. Fly left base runway 16 left KA49 tree. Clear to land runway. Runway 1-6-left horizon air, 2-3-9-1. Okay, we do need to drop some more. So let's try 4,000. I think we're far enough away from the terrain to be able to do that. Don't see the landing pattern yet, but it should show up shortly.
not surprised to find Seattle raining like this. It seems to me that's the norm for Washington State. Okay, there's our pattern. Um, looks like I need to turn and get over there towards the entrance. So I'm going to take us off of autopilot. I'm going to nose down a bit. Our altitude seems to be okay. We're going pretty fast. I'm going to pull back on the throttle. Try to get us slowing down. And let's turn and head over towards the pattern. If I nose down a little bit, I think I can see where it is. Can't really tell. Okay, yeah, I see where it is now. Let's make this... Give ourselves a little bit more room to make that turn. I think I'm dropping too much altitude, so I'm going to kick it up a bit. Okay, I think we can go ahead and start making our turn. I'm going to bring the throttle back up. Oh, that was just dropping the throttle all the way to the bottom. I'm going to bring our speed up to halfway, or throttle up to halfway. Head over towards this landing pattern entrance. Horizon Air 2, tree 9, or 1 exit runway when able. Okay, I guess we're a little on the high side, so I can pull the throttle back and nose down. I'm beginning to see the ground now. I am going to go ahead and put the landing gear down to give us some drag. Pull the throttle back most of the way. Just glide into this entrance. Okay, so I'm going too fast. I'm going to go ahead and put down the approach flaps. Get our speed down. I'm going to push hard on the stick to keep from nosing up too much. Alright, we're almost at this entrance. Alaska Flight Zero Tree, follow the aircraft on final. Point one five three and one zero. Caution the generic landing runway one six center. Clear to land runway one six left. I think I may have to runway, one, give it some throttle if we drop too much speed after this. Clear this to looks land like runway, a clean one entry. Six left, Alaska. Five, zero, three. Looks like I'm following some others in also. I'll need to get off the runway pretty quick after I get onto it, I believe. Okay. Here we are. I feel like it. Okay. Sounds good. Caution the generic landing runway one six center. Think it was some more throttle and dropping a little bit of speed. Stick towards the right Clear side to of the pattern. Left KA tree. Not worried about going a little bit too fast, but pull back the throttle. Alright, and we need to make this turn. The throttle is coming down 
because I'm definitely going too fast. Oh, I see a rainbow off in the distance. That's pretty. Okay, we're going to idle the throttle for a moment and just get our speed down. Bring it back up once I know how much I need. I do feel like I'm dropping altitude, so I don't want to go all the way down. a very busy airport. Skywest 3561, number 2 for landing. Follow the Beechcraft King Air on final. <laughs> I'm being followed. I'm going to have to get off the runway quickly, like I said before. So we're making this Clear last turn. Runway, one, six, left, number, two, sky, west, three, five, six, one. Too fast. I'm going to drop the throttle to idle again. We have kind of a little bit of a steep drop here. Let's head over towards the right side of the pattern to keep the runway centered. The throttle's all the way down. We're a little fast. I'm not too worried about it. Okay, landing flaps down. Throttle up. Okay, throttle down. I'll feather the throttle as needed. Keep us safe. Feels like it's alright. I think I can glide us. Go around? Seriously? Alright, maybe I'll just obey this time. I guess it'd go around because there's a craft on the runway. So I put the flaps back up to the approach flaps. I'll keep those on so that we don't gain too much speed. The last time I was told to go around, I disobeyed and just landed anyway, and then I felt really bad about it, even though it's just a game. But I'm trying to... So in terms of landing, I'm not sure if there's a landing pattern for us, or if I need to ask for one to be set up again. Oh, there it is. Okay, now we can go ahead and turn now. Let's reset that view, and I will go ahead and start making my turn. Give it a bunch of throttle because we're losing speed on this turn and I'm still gaining altitude a bit. Feels like we're kind of just hovering in one place. the entrance. We're here. Let's bring the throttle back to halfway. Um, I haven't heard if I'm clear to land, but pattern's up, so I assume it's okay to enter it. Okay, I'm going to drop the throttle to idle. We need to burn off the speed. Two 
Too fast. We've got. Our speed is okay. I don't want to really go much slower than that, though. Just give it a bit more throttle. A little on the low side. Flaps down. And let's try to keep the runway centered. Got the throttle all the way down now. Don't think that's enough to glide us in, so I'm going to give us a little bit of a boost. again. 
Kill up, so I don't lose altitude. This is that point last time where I felt like I was kind of floating in one place and pivoting. It kind of feels that way. Alright, there's the pattern. again and come in here and burn off that speed. I guess if I have to go around again I should note the altitude of the entrance. Guys, it's more like 2,500, not 3,500. Okay, I'm definitely going too fast. I can solve that with the landing flaps. I'll lose some speed on these turns. That's good. Okay, we're actually going pretty slow Clear now. Clear to land runway 16 left KA 493. So having to give us some throttle. Horizon Air 2344 number 2 for landing. Follow the Beechcraft King Air on base. Wind 177 and 8. Caution the generic landing runway 16 right. Clear to land runway 16 left. There's that rainbow again. Skywatch 3320 contact ground on 126 decimal 25. Behind me, I think. Two, three, four, four, go around. One, two, six, decimal, two, five, for sky west, three, three, two, zero. Horizon air, two, three, four, four, contact Seattle, approach on one, two, zero, decimal, four. Good day. Okay, so just watching my speed, going a little on the slow side. to get through these turns safely. Hopefully I don't have to go around again, but I might. Okay, throttle back to idle. So we're going to begin dropping a little faster here after the turn. As a matter of fact, I want the landing flaps down and the throttle back up to halfway. And push hard on the stick to keep from getting too much altitude. Speed is good at the moment. Seattle Tower, Horizon Air 201010 miles north inbound ILS runway 16 left approach. Horizon Air 2010 Seattle Tower. Okay, we're just going to just straighten up a little bit. We should be good. Pull the throttle back to near like ILS runway 16 left approach. Okay, I've got the throttle down at like 15%, something like that. Let's see if that's enough. Feels like we've got a steady descent angle here. We could drop out at the last second. I'm going to feather the throttle up just a little bit. slow, but that's good. And we have not been told to go around. That's also good. I'm going to flare up a little bit. Seattle 
So it has us turning up here. We actually got to land that time. It felt nice not to disobey the go-around order. I was a little worried about getting stuck in a, in a loop, but I think we're okay. Going faster than we're supposed to when taxiing, but I do want to quickly get off this runway. We've got the flaps up. That's important because you could suddenly take off doing something like that. Differential braking. Okay. Alright, we're off. Hard brake. Contact ground. One two six decimal two five KA four nine tree. Taxi to parking. Ground KA four nine tree request taxi to parking. KA four nine tree taxi to general aviation parking by taxiway Kilo Bravo Alpha. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking by a taxiway Kilo Bravo Alpha KA 49er Tree. The weather today is just absolutely lousy, it seems like. Maybe it'll get better, it's too early in the morning still. Sky West 33, tier 0 position, caution, other traffic. I see that rudder fluttering when I've got it all the way to the side. That's the crappy Thrustmaster pedals, T rudder pedals. I decided I am going to invest in something better. Um, just having a lot of trouble. Now starting to have trouble with my hotels as well. This seems nice and slow and controlled, like I would want. And we're parked. Parking brake on. Shut the engines down. Look around a little bit while I'm here. Doesn't seem like there's too much to see. See the terminals down there. All right, turn off the plane. Sometimes that doesn't end for some reason. There we go. Had to turn off autopilot. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.